Hey guys, it's Vaughn. You're watching my real life vlogs. And today we are getting real, okay, about this laundry room closet. Before we jump into the organizational part of this video, I know some of you guys are new and I wanted to share kind of what our laundry room looked like when we first bought this house. It was a mess. I didn't get any footage of the actual closet, but I wanted to show you guys kind of the progress of the before and kind of how far we've come so that you can get an idea of why I'm so excited about this laundry room today. So this is what it looked like before and this is what it looks like today after all the, the DIY changes that we made. My dad popped these cabinets up for us. He replaced the sink. We had to buy a washer and dryer. So just lots of changes. And if you guys keep watching until the end, you'll see even more tweaks to this space. So keep watching. Y'all, I had an epiphany this week and I was like, you know what? I've been doing a lot of reorganizing. I've been improving my home. I've been cleaning. I've been doing a lot of things around here to make things better for us. And I kept walking past this closet and I'm like, it ain't right until this gets right. I've done a few organizational videos recently. You guys may have seen me reorganizing my whole linen closet. You guys saw me getting my kitchen together, starting with my pantry and creating more of a sound storage solution for my cabinets. But today we're gonna tackle this sort of storage closet in my laundry room. When we first moved into this house, this closet was supposed to be like a coat closet, I think. There was just the one shelf and then there was some hanging space, totally not conducive for storing things. So the first thing that we did was kind of gut that out. We pulled all those items out and then my dad helped us install this shelving solution for in here, which has been working out great. When we first started putting things in here, how it always starts, right? It starts off really nice. You start putting stuff in, you're like, oh, we have all this storage. We can just put stuff on the shelves. And then a few months go by and then you start to look and you're like, all right, this doesn't make any sense. Things are piled up, things are overflowing, and it looks a mess. And I don't know what I have and I can't find anything. And I'm stressed out anytime I have to either get something out of here or put something back. So we realized really quickly that we were going about this all wrong. So I figured I would go today and buy a bunch of storage solutions for in here and we will try to get this thing to make some sense. So before we buy anything, girl, before we leave and go buy anything, we need to measure. You guys know I'm huge on the measuring thing. I need to know how much space I have between each shelf. And I also need to take a look and assess what all is in here. That's gonna help inform my choices when I get to the store. I'm telling you guys, this will help minimize the chances of having to return something or having to go back to the store and buy more stuff because you didn't get enough. So it looks like this shelf has the most space in between than all of the others, so that's good to know. All right, so let's start off by showing you guys what all is in here, okay? So it's a lot of stuff in here for entertaining when we have company over or we're hosting some kind of event, but also utility stuff like cords and light bulbs, and of course, cleaning supplies. What we've also been using this closet for is to kind of store some seasonal items, like some easy to access seasonal items. So I have a lot of Christmas wrapping paper in here a lot of like gifting supplies as well as some Halloween stuff just things that I have nowhere else to put I've just been tossing in here which is not a good sign I bought these boxes from Ikea ages ago when we first moved in here and it was working until it didn't these labels that I have on here actually don't even fit anymore because I have a ton of stuff in these boxes that don't match the label so I need to fix that part of the system and I need to also increase some of the storage because what we have here is just kind of this overflow of supplies back here. So I think my goal is just to make this a little bit prettier, but also to function a little bit better when I'm trying to find things that I need right away. So the storage stuff that I want, I'm thinking I wanna go more of the plastic and or cloth route just because this is a covered metal, like a plastic covered metal. I don't want anything that's gonna be scraping across this. I don't wanna be annoyed every time I need to find something. So I definitely want a nice soft material. I'm thinking about replacing these boxes, not 100% sure yet. So that's the dilemma, that's what we're working with. That is the problem. Now let's go ahead and go to the store and find the solution. All right, I am in here. I am so excited to see this stuff. So excited. Halloween is coming. Look at these gargoyles. I love it. Okay, let's focus. Okay, I think this is the aisle I can start down. I'm trying to talk through my mask, so I know it's not the best sound, but I'm just looking for things to put things in. And I kind of want it to all coordinate and be pretty. Oh my God, this is so cute. How cute is that? So 
So yeah, they have a ton to choose from. Ooh, I really like those. But I just wanna find something practical and affordable because I'm probably gonna need a lot of whichever one I end up getting. So like these jumbo plastic storage bins. This is actually pretty big. How much is it? Well, see, this is only $6.99. It's a really good price, you know, in case I need like nine of them. I know I wanna go with kind of a gray color. I know that. These are really, really good prices. Lots of baskets. I really like these soft containers. These are good. And I like when they come with the handle so you can, you know, move it from the closet to another area if you need to. I kind of just take a look at everything they have to offer and then I'll go in and decide like what's best for me to get. But I'm just kind of assessing everything first before I put anything in this cart. Kind of the more practical stuff. See, I need stuff like this to store some of that Christmas and Halloween stuff. This one is actually kind of perfect. I'm just gonna measure it to make sure it's long enough. Guys, I also brought along a photo of the closet just in case I forget something but this will help me kind of remember what I need solutions for I think this would be good for some of that utility stuff these are stackable storage drawers I think this would be good for maybe like those extension cords so maybe this can work these are only ten dollars so I'm kind of feeling like I should get these which is so practical a lot of space in there they're pretty deep and there's something about this one that I really really like it's a nice soft material I think it's plastic um, it's got the stainless steel handles so it looks a little bit more expensive so I'm thinking about throwing a couple of those in the mix definitely want to stick with the gray okay it appears that these are a pretty good choice <laughs> Is it normal to get this excited about Halloween stuff? I highly doubt it. All right, you guys, this is everything that I got from at home. You guys did not see me pick these up, but I got a couple of these command hooks just in case. We went ahead with the six clear plastic bins i'm hoping that this looks good in here let's just cross our fingers but i think i may have bought too many but we will see these can easily be returned if i did i went ahead and got two of the stacking drawers so i can't wait to see how those fit i ended up with the two plastic woven baskets with the stainless steel handles and then i got um a vase for my kitchen but that's a different that's a different story and then i got two of the long hefty bins Let's go ahead and get started. You guys know how I do it. I start by taking everything out. Oh, as I'm taking things out of this closet, I found um, a present that Anthony's grandmother got me since she knows I like to try to cook. She got me this three-tier oven companion. This is so cool.
now that I have everything off the shelves, it's time to rethink how we put everything back. All this stuff down here, I'm gonna pull out in just a moment because honestly, I know where all of this stuff is going. So I'll pull this out in just a moment. Pulling out some of that Halloween stuff. Okay. Okay, now with all of that seasonal stuff pulled out of here, I am of course going to clean the floor in here. So I'm gonna sweep and mop. But let's take a look at everything that was in this closet, all right? I'm already getting a little anxiety just looking at all this stuff. But I tried to group everything how it's presumably gonna go back in the closet. So kitchen stuff, event stuff, garbage and lawn bags, light bulbs. We got some bottled water back here. We got all those cords. We've got some totes that need to go with the other totes. Let's start by by um, seeing what all storage containers fit inside the closet first. Okay, so I still have all the tags on everything, but I just popped everything into the shelves just to see what I'm working with. And the good news is that I think I will be able to use these boxes after all. I'm just going to switch off those labels, of course. But everything else seems to be fitting in here. So this will be our starting point. So let's go. That's it, all done. This is the trash that I'm about to throw out. And this is what the closet looks like now. Okay, we'll start from right here on the floor. I just have my mop bucket, 
one of my favorites. Old Cedar is so cool. And a step stool for Anne, because sometimes we wash our hands in here before we enter the house. And then this is just a decanter. I ended up keeping the gray Ikea boxes. All I did was switch out the labels. The only reason I have labels on these is because you can't see what's inside. I tried to keep everything else kind of see-through so that you can kind of just see what's inside and you wouldn't need a label. In this first one, I wrote cleaning because I just have like all of my mop refill heads. This one says patio because basically it's just my projector equipment in there. And then this says party. It's just a bunch of leftover uh, themed party plates and spoons and forks and stuff. And then over here is just some kitchen items. Bottled water in this first one. Just a place to store it before it hits the fridge. This is where I'm keeping all the cleaning supplies. This is more of all of the active products being used and then all of the refills and extras are in the cabinet behind me. So this two-tiered stackable drawer situation has been working out really perfectly for holding these cords. I went ahead and folded them all up individually and put them in. So now they're easy to access, easy to get to, and then there's plenty of room for more. So I love that I can grow into this utility closet because it's not filled to capacity. And then this is just some of the more loose utensils for parties and stuff in there. These are my drink dispensers over here in this corner. And then on this shelf, you guys, I left this opening here. I could have added a third basket. I was so tempted to go back and get a third basket, but I'm thinking it's probably smart to just leave this empty for now because I might need to put a bulky item there. That's the thing. So I kind of feel like I should leave some empty space somewhere. So I'm just gonna leave that empty. And this one, I just have all of the tote bags and stuff. Love to recycle nice totes. So I just have those all lined up in there and they're easy to find which one you need because I have them all oriented horizontally. In this big old basket I just have all of the light bulbs. Up here are solo cups and some paper plates and then in this one this is like garbage bags and lawn bags. Brooms, dustpans, mops, you know that kind of thing are hanging on this guy here. I'll put a link to this one. I do believe I ordered this on Amazon. My dad put this up for us. So yep, that's it for the closet organization today. I hope you guys enjoyed and or got some motivation, ideas to reorganize your utility closet. And yeah, this was just overall fun to do, but it was so necessary. Also really quick, also really cheap. I only spent $170 for everything that I bought today, which is pretty darn good. Might not have turned out super pretty, but that kind of wasn't the point. I think when everything is organized and has a place, it's still aesthetically pleasing, even if it's not as beautiful and pretty as you would have hoped. I feel like this is still nice to look at, even though it's not like, you know, like super themed out. I wasn't gonna put a whole lot of money into making this look good because it is just literally a utility closet and I didn't wanna do too much, but I wanted it to be nice in case the doors are open. Also make it easy to find everything. If you're coming in here doing laundry, you don't feel discouraged because you have this big junk mess right next to you in your view. So I'm glad I did this, glad I got it out of the way. One less thing to worry about in my house. All right, good morning you guys. This is somewhat, um, ooh, let me put on my hat, honey. I guess you can call this bonus footage, you guys, because after reorganizing this closet, getting it all set up the way I want it to be, actually, I'm really pleased with it. When my husband got home last night, he was super excited. He just stood there and he was like, this is so nice. And I'm like, yeah, you know, it's not super pretty, but we know where everything is and this is gonna really help us stay organized and stuff. So anyway, as an update, he really loved it. When my mom, I showed her a picture of it. She wants me to now help her with her closet. So huge success there. Anyway, after yesterday's closet revamp, it made me want to work on another project in here that I had been wanting to work on for so long. So what you're about to see has nothing to do with closet organization. This is kind of just bonus footage because I wanted to share this with you guys. So you guys saw yesterday the area in between these two cabinets on my wall is kind of blank and in an attempt to give it some drama and something interesting I put two photos up these are actually photographs that I took on my iPhone from my travels so I had been wanting to put shelves right here so that I can increase my storage for this space but also be able to put some decorative items out to make this room a little bit more inspiring when you're doing your laundry and entering the house taking off your shoes all that good stuff so I have been putting it off for the longest so today I had the urge after reorganizing this closet to go to Home Depot and get these floating shelves that I've had my eyes on for a while so the first thing that I did was take down the photos that I had up. Now you guys, these photos were not hanging like typical photos. I actually used some 3M adhesive to attach them directly to the wall.
wall and honey that adhesive is so good to the point when I was taking the photo off the wall it took some of the paint with it so I'm going to have to repair those areas but that's fine because there's an easy way to do that I'm just going to use a little bit of household spackle and I'm just going to paint right over it because I still have some of the paint from when we got this room painted so that's not a problem so I'm just in the middle of the process right now as we pan over I got one of the shelves up already you guys this was so easy to install honey and let me show you guys the shelves that I'm using I went ahead and bought two so they're just the 24 inch decorative shelves the space in between these cabinets is 26 inches so I want to just make sure that I could fit inside of there the brand is home decorators collection and it's just a really simple install real basic shelf and I just wanted something that was white that I could just put here. So this is some of the mounting hardware that it comes with. So we've got the drywall screws and then we've got these little anchor things. So if you don't put it directly into a stud, you can just use this. So I am not stud finding this morning, okay? Plus the dimensions of this thing, um, they don't fall within the studs. So I'm definitely gonna use these little anchors. Easiest directions ever, it comes with its own mounting kit. So everything you need is in there. So I'm just going to go ahead and get started on shelf number two. ever. I'm going to go recycle these and I'll be right back. You guys, all I'm doing is laying this stuff on top of that hole and smoothing over it just to make it flat. So all I'm doing is just filling in the torn area with this spackle. I'm trying to make it smooth so that I don't even have to sand this thing when I'm done. I just want to paint right over it. See, real, real quick like that. But yeah, with professional jobs or, you know, deeper holes or deeper imperfections, you definitely want to sand. But I think in this case, I can get away with not sanding because it's really not that deep. Okay, the mud work is done. You guys, the cool thing about this spackle product is that it is for... Um, I think like beginners like if you're just trying to figure out how to do this because it goes on kind of pinkish and it dries white so once it turns white and it dries really quickly too you can go ahead and paint over it so this is for like quick fixes that's why it's in such a small container just like spot correcting your walls right before you paint or something like that especially if time is of the essence so this is a really good one once this goes ahead and dries down white I'm gonna paint over it and we're gonna be done with this <laughs> couple comments under my video saying that you guys would watch my videos even if we were watching paint dry. All right, it looks like the paint is dry. Let's go ahead and put some items on this shelf. I have no idea what I'm doing. We're just going to see what will work. As you guys see, I left that photo attached to the wall up there because that one kind of works for me. I'm gonna use it kind of as a backdrop for that top shelf, but that other one had to go because it was a little too much. So I'm just gonna relocate that one to some other part of the house. So yeah, let's go ahead and start putting some stuff up here.
okay you guys this is what i did so like i said i left that picture up there and i just put a fake plant and that is a eiffel tower figurine that i got when i was in paris with my sister so i love that thing and i wanted to incorporate it somehow in here and then i just put my detergent container here with the little lid looks like a little candy jar um, I originally had this inside the cabinet. It's so much better right here though because it's easier to access. And then this random basket that I had in one of these cabinets, I just put it right here. It's empty now, but I think where this is gonna come in handy is when you're doing laundry and you're finding things like your ID, receipts, things like that in your pockets, you can just toss it right in here and then you can sort through it later. So I think that's a really practical addition to the shelf. I'm just glad that we were able to increase storage in here and maximize some of the empty spaces so i'm really happy about the way all this turned out and that's all i have for today i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i will talk to you in my next one bye